14 million people, many of their homes flooded from burst pipes, have no clean water for drinking and cooking. Bottled water is being distributed, but residents of Houston and Austin and other cities are being told to boil water for up to three minutes. Some are melting snow and ice, and boiling it is not so easy if there's still no power. Survival expert Shane Hobel showed me how to use snow to make water that's safe to drink without power. Obviously, you're not going to be doing this in your living room. Right. Where is it safe to set a fire? In the driveway in your backyard? As long as the, the canopy is clear, you're free from the neighbor's house, you know, crosswinds, risk of, you know, the ember jumping into flammable areas, you know, other things. So just be mindful of where it is. After it's boiled, this water still needs to be filtered. Just run it through a cheesecloth. You can run it through the coffee filters, the, the right. paper ones you have. You can run it through clean t-shirts, a bandana. Not boiling water can have serious consequences, such as dysentery and hepatitis. Amid all the chaos, new life. This baby was born in the middle of the blizzard Wednesday and needed CPR to survive. Mom and dad were stranded at home about 100 miles outside Dallas when mom nice. went into labor. Just had a baby at home. And we should have known he was going to come on the worst possible day. <laughs> but he's here and we're thankful. He's great at nursing and um, just a good little eater and a good little sleeper, so praise God. <laughs> and how's this for an ingenious mom? With no running water available, she melted snow from her yard in a giant cooking pot until she had enough to bathe her kids in it.